Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. You have an equilateral triangle ABC. Construct its incircle and let P be any point on its incircle. Construct AP, BP, and CP. The challenge is to prove AP squared plus BP squared plus CP squared is equal to some constant K. So even as P goes around any point on the incircle, the sum of the square distances from the vertices of the triangle to the point P is always a constant value. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. This is a challenging question and I did not work it out myself. But when I saw the solution, it was so amazing that I just had to share it. So the technique to solve this two-dimensional problem is to think in three dimensions. So let's set up a coordinate system with three axes, X, Y, and Z, and put the three points A, B, and C on the three different axes. The first thing we'll do is we'll set convenient coordinates. Now, ABC is an equilateral triangle, so we need the length of AB to be the length of BC to be the length of AC. So here's one way that we can do that. Let A be the point 1, 0, 0, B be 0, 1, 0, and C be 0, 0, 1. It's easy to calculate that the length of AB is equal to the length of BC is equal to the length of AC, which is equal to the square root of 2. So this is an equilateral triangle we put in a coordinate system. Now, what is the equation of the plane that passes through the points A, B, and C? This is also easy to figure out. This is the equation x plus y plus z is equal to 1. It's easy enough to check that the points A, B, and C will satisfy this equation. Now, here comes the next amazing trick. What can we do about this incircle? So, we will construct a sphere that intersects with this plane, and the intersection of this sphere with the plane will exactly be this incircle. Now, a general equation for a sphere centered at the origin is x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to r squared, for r being the radius. In fact, we can solve for the value of r. Consider the midpoint of AB. This will be a point on the triangle, and it will also be a point on the incircle, so it's a point on the sphere. So what is the value of the midpoint? It will exactly be the average of the coordinates of A and B, so that will be 0 0.5, 0 0.50. Since this is a point on the sphere, we can substitute it into the equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to r squared. So x is equal to 0.5, y is equal to 0.5, and z is equal to 0. So we get 0.5 squared plus 0.5 squared plus 0 squared is equal to r squared. And this simplifies to be r squared is equal to 0.5. So the equation of the sphere is x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 0.5. So where do we go from here? We have the equation of the plane, we have the equation of the sphere, and we have the coordinates of A, B, and C. Well, our objective is to calculate AP squared plus BP squared plus CP squared. So let's let the point P have coordinates X, Y, and Z. So if P is X, Y, and Z, we know that A is 1, 0, 0. So let's calculate the square of the length of AP. So this will be the square of the difference in the x-coordinates plus the square of the difference in the y-coordinates plus the square of the difference in the z-coordinates. It'll be the square of x minus 1 plus y squared plus z squared. Now similarly, let's calculate bp squared. b is 0, 1, 0. So bp squared will be equal to x squared plus the square of y minus 1 plus z squared. Next, let's go to cp squared. C is the point 0, 0, 1. So CP squared will be X squared plus Y squared plus the square of Z minus 1. Now we want the sum of these, so let's sum these up. 
So we'll first expand each binomial. We have the square of x minus 1 in the first equation, the square of y minus 1 in the second, and the square of z minus 1 in the third. So now we want to add up all these three equations, and it'll look very complicated, but don't worry, this is all going to simplify. So in the three equations, we have 3x squared, we also have 3y squared, and we also have 3z squared. So we can write this as 3 times the sum of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Now we also have negative 2x plus negative 2y plus negative 2z, so this will be minus 2 times the quantity x plus y plus z. Finally, we have 1 plus 1 plus 1, and that is equal to 3. So let's focus on the sum of the squared distances. Now we can do something magical. We have x squared plus y squared plus z squared, but we know from the equation of the sphere that this is equal to 0.5. Here we have x plus y plus z, and we know from the equation of the plane that this is equal to 1. Since the point P is on the sphere and the plane, we can substitute in these values. So we substitute in, we get 3 times 0.5 minus 2 times 1 plus 3, and that is equal to 2.5. So we figured out that the sum of these square distance is always equal to some constant for any point P. So in general, when we have different coordinates, we have AP squared plus BP squared plus CP squared is always equal to some constant K. And that completes the proof. So now, what is the value of K? So let's go back to our problem. So we know that the sum of the squared distances is equal to k. So what we can do is pick a convenient point p. Let's suppose that the equilateral triangle has ab equal to ac equal to bc equal to some side length s. So here's the convenient point we'll pick. We'll let p be the midpoint of ab. So then we have ap, bp, and cp as follows. AP will be S over 2, BP will be S over 2, and CP will be the altitude, which is S root 3 over 2, because APC is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So we now compute AP squared plus BP squared plus CP squared. This is easy enough to do. It's the square of S over 2 plus the square of S over 2 plus the square of S root 3 all over 2. And this works out to be S squared over 4 plus S squared over 4 plus 3S squared over 4, which is equal to 5s squared over 4. So we figured out the sum of the squared distances is 5s squared over 4. Amazing! What an interesting problem that we solved a two-dimensional problem using three-dimensional coordinates. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.